It's called West Nile virus. It's here, it's serious, and you can blame one little type of insect for it, mosquitoes. Push comes to shove, a mosquito will bite anything that's got blood. This is definitely not a disease to fool around with. Hello, I'm Michael Russo. West Nile virus, it's in many countries, including the United States. In San Diego County, the battle against it is in full swing now that the disease is here. What you're about to see is what the County of San Diego is doing to tackle the problem, and more importantly, what you can do to help stop it. This is the, the biggest epidemic of a virus that is transmitted by a mosquito or tick that we've seen in, in the Western Hemisphere for a very long time. West Nile virus first appeared in the Eastern United States in 1999. When it arrives in a new region, birds are often the first to become infected. The virus is transmitted by mosquitoes, which bite an infected bird and then bite a human. West Nile virus can cause serious illness or even death. Fortunately, a relatively small number of people develop the most severe symptoms. Probably only one in 300 illnesses is clinical and is detected. Most of the other illnesses might be mild flus that no one ever thinks anything about it. In the one case in which it is severe, it is severe and it is of great, great concern. Older people are most at risk for developing severe symptoms. County epidemiologists are leaving nothing to chance, monitoring those with conditions linked to West Nile virus, such as meningitis, but have no obvious cause. Now it is important to note that most people who contract the virus recover fully with proper medical care. So it's important to check with your doctor if you start to experience severe flu-like symptoms. So the virus is here. That means mosquitoes carrying the virus are also here. Stop the mosquitoes, you stop the virus. And there are plenty of things you can do to lower your risk, and they're easy. Start at your home. Here's Renee Carmichael. I didn't get five feet out the back door before I found this ice bucket. Want to fight the bite of the West Nile virus? All you need to do is look around your own home. You'll be amazed at all the places mosquitoes can breathe. There's Jenny's car. You can see the back seat of the car is full of water and if it stayed there for a week we could get mosquitoes breeding right there. Even something as shallow as a paint bucket lid is a potential danger. Oh, here's one of the best spots that we could find mosquitoes, and sure enough, there's some right there. You can see these little wigglers right along the edge here. What else we got here? From unused pots. Let me dump that out. To old tires, you can discourage mosquito breeding by emptying water after a rain and storing items in a position where they can't collect water. So you need to dump it, get rid of that stagnant water, breeding mosquitoes, and store your wheelbarrow upright. Keep an eye out for water that's collected on flat rooftops or around rain gutters. All you have to do is take a look around your own home. There's lots of small sources that you may not realize actually could breed mosquitoes. For larger water sources, don't forget about mosquito fish. You can get them for free through the county's Department of Environmental Health. It can eat eight times its uh, body weight every day in mosquito larvae, which is a, a real good um, biological control for mosquitoes. We can't put all of our faith into uh, mosquito-eating fish to take care of all of our mosquito problems, but it certainly is a tool that we do use. It's also important to check your window screens. If you notice any small holes or large holes, you may want to consider getting these replaced. Um, if you take care of the mosquitoes in your backyard, your neighbors may or may not, and this is a part of our defense. In addition to keeping an eye out around your home, the County of San Diego needs your help in identifying potential mosquito breeding grounds. Public is critical to help us do a good job. They are our eyes and ears throughout the county. They, they are exposed on a daily basis to many mosquitoes, and we need to know what they're exposed to. So do your part and tell the county when you find an area plagued by mosquitoes. The end result is to keep the community safe from the West Nile virus. Since dead birds could be our first sign that the virus has arrived, alert the county if you find a bird that's dead for no apparent reason. And what we're looking for 
as West Nile virus. The county's health officer stresses that there are precautions we can take to limit our exposure to mosquito bites. If possible, don't go out when they're particularly biting, like at dusk. Clothes are, are very um, protective. Um, so it's really the areas where you don't have clothes that you, or where they might go um, up inside your clothes that you want to put the insect repellent. Use insect repellent that contains DEET for the best protection and always follow directions for proper usage. You put it on your hands first and then over your face and then to the other areas that are exposed that are hopefully um, not very much. And then for children, because you know a lot of that, the children stick everything in their, their mouth, just don't put it on their hands at all. The best defense we have against the West Nile virus is a good offense. So take time now to learn as much as you can. For more information about how to prepare you and your family, visit the Fight the Bite website at sdfightthebite.com. Now something else about those mosquito eating fish, they're only for use in your home. Do not try to put them into a lake or a stream where they could easily wipe out all the native species. Also, there is a toll free phone number for that dead bird pickup. It is 888-551-INFO. Well, mosquitoes are certainly not confined to your home, of course, and unless you're flat out retired, you also spend a lot of time on the job. But it's important to be vigilant. The battle against West Nile virus must also happen where you work. So, you want to talk about West Nile virus on the job? Go no further than the County Operations Center in Kearney Mesa. All the departments in the county, pretty much, we have the sheriffs up here, the agriculture department, the welding shop, the automotive repair, um, the coroners up here. You'll find pretty much everything. Right now we're at the plumbing shop. Another and camp. Jesse Rowland from Let's the Department of Environmental Health. I'm a vector control technician for the San Diego County. He's been doing it 14 years. So what does a vector control technician do in the plumbing shop? Look for standing water. And there's all kinds of containers out here. And as we've learned, there's no better place for breeding mosquitoes than standing water. It's a fence yard with all their materials and supplies and equipment. Um, some of it's covered, some of it isn't, and those are the areas you want to look at for containers that may hold water that could be breeding mosquitoes. And in this demonstration, it doesn't take very long to find potential problems in a typical industrial work site. Something as small as this cup can breed a couple hundred mosquitoes. And this is very typical. A lot of businesses have small items they don't even think about around, around the outside. Empty them, turn them upside down, you don't have to sweat it. Um, I see we have some more problem areas over here, shallow pans. A lot of times they're stored under um, plumbing that might drip to collect the water. Of course, then it becomes a, a breeding source itself. Um, periodically tip them over, get rid of that water. No water, no mosquito breeding. Um, what you might find in a plumbing yard, which this is, is uh, old sinks, toilets, uh, bathtubs, anything that holds water. You can see there's a little bit of water in there, and that's very common to breed mosquitoes. Simple solution, tip it over, can't hold the water. Um, coffee cans, coffee cans, you see them all over. People keep them to collect screws, nails, junk, um, and water, and they breed mosquitoes. It's very common. Same thing, empty the water. And it doesn't take long after a rain to create problems. In warm weather, only one week for a mosquito to go from larva to adult. In this demonstration, in five minutes, you found 15 different sources that are very common. Very common. Very typical. You might find them in most businesses or even around your house. What we recommend is just get up. Get out there. Drain that bucket. Before West Nile virus drains you. Could save your life, your neighbor's life, anybody's life. It's just good practice. Coming up, outstanding in the field, literally, from boats to traps to chickens. What the County of San Diego does in the field to keep us all safe. <laughs>